everyone welcome to fluent life in today's video we are going to talk about some more phrasal verbs that we have been talking about in the previous videos to talk around so the meaning of this phrasal verb is to persuade or convince someone to do something so that you know they agree on whatever we are saying So always remember this pro tip try to imagine or try to think of a situation in your life wherein somebody convinced you to do something or you convinced somebody to do something so let me give you two very uh, good examples and this might also help you to remember some examples from your own life to actually use this phrasal verb in your own words in your own sentences in your own everyday conversation so i remember that while i was in uttarakhand one of my colleagues really loved hiking and i was not a very big fan of hiking or going on a treks so one day she came to my house during the weekend and she talked me around to go for a hiking trip with her so to talk around that means she convinced me to go on a hiking trip and it was one of the best trips that i took in uttarakhand so but my friend talked me around so i also have another experience in which i actually convinced somebody as in i talked around somebody to do something so i remember in my childhood i was not able to get up early in the morning and occasionally mostly always used to miss my school bus and that's when i used to talk around my sister talk her around to please drop me to the school so that was one situation wherein i talked somebody around and in this situation somebody talked me around so one pro tip to use this phrasal verb in your own words is to always mention the person here as in when you're talking about like i have done my friend uh, talked me around so i've used me here and in this sentence i have written talked my sister so my sister is the person and me is the person that i've mentioned here so mention the person whom you want to convince or who convinced you to actually agree to something so always remember to use the person between these two words and then use it in your sentence now let's move on to the next phrasal verb to shut down so you must be thinking that to shut down actually means when a shop or a business shut down yes it does mean when a restaurant or a cafe shuts down but this phrasal verb also means something else it means when somebody rejects you mostly when your hopes were really high so that you feel the pain of being you know rejected by somebody else
so when you get rejected by someone especially this condition has to be there then only you can actually use this phrasal verb then when your hopes were really high so imagine that you are talking to your boss and you are actually telling him or her an idea that you have for a new project but they just stop you in the mid sentence that's very rude so uh, and he doesn't like your idea so you can actually say that i was talking about an idea to my manager or to my boss but he shut me down mid sentence so shut me down mid sentence does not only mean that he stopped you it also means that he rejects your idea he rejects whatever you were saying in the mid sentence this phrasal verb is actually has reminded me of another experience that i uh, had with my mother so one day i went to my mother and i was just starting to tell her about this girls trip that i was planning to go you know she shut me down and she told me to do not talk about this girls trip because that's never going to happen <coughs> so my mother shut me down when i told her about the girls trip so can you also think of some situations wherein you convince somebody or somebody convinced you or when you shut down somebody or when somebody shut you down so do right different situation where you can actually use this idiom sorry this phrasal verb in your own sentences